Hello my loves, it's Monica and today I desperately need to do a little bit of reorganization of my desk and my dresser area in my bedroom. Honestly, over the past few weeks, life has been really chaotic, my mental health has been kind of all over the place, and that is definitely reflected in my space. As you can see, things have just been piling up, so I decided to get kick things off by pulling off a lot of things from my shelves and just trying to figure out what I actually need up there like I definitely do not need these <laughs> random video games and things and just trying to find better places for certain things that have you know just found random homes and places that they don't need to be and yeah i needed to definitely organize a lot of my stationery like my washi tape and i was very proud of that and after this i decided to just start off by really taking off all of these like unnecessary bits from my desk and kind of start with a blank canvas i went online and ordered a few bits and bobs to spruce up this area too which i'm really excited for and i'm just ugh, it's just so nice to have like a productive cozy space again and a space to you know have fun too because obviously like i love gaming for example and it's impossible to game <laughs> when your desk space looks like this so yeah, it was really, really helpful for me mentally to just clear everything off finally and, you know, take responsibility and, um, and look after my space and thus looking after myself. So I don't know, I'm hoping that maybe watching this video will inspire you to also tackle a big project that you've been kind of nervous about undertaking. I know for me, like, things just pile up all the time and it can be so stressful and anxiety inducing but then at the same time like having the mess causes even more anxiety so i do try and prioritize just trying to you know tidy as much as i can but also to be kind to myself when i can't you know and that sometimes I'm just gonna have a pile of clothes on my chair and that's okay but you know definitely also taking those days when I need to to clean things off and make my space helpful and healthy for myself so yeah I ended up getting this cute little like shelf desk thing <laughs> it's like we were supposed to use for like a monitor or something but i don't have a monitor but i definitely just needed to free up some desk space in general so to kind of lift up some things and have a bit more storage on my desk was has definitely been like a total game changer for me it's unfortunate that i figured out that i needed this about a year into living in this apartment but i'm glad that i did eventually figure it out and went ahead and picked this one up i'll i'll link everything that i can in the description box down below if you want to check out anything i always also get so many questions about my laptop this pink laptop and unfortunately i cannot help you <laughs> um it is old it's from razor um i got it used from razor's ebay account so that would be my best recommendation is if you want the, the quartz razor laptop um check their ebay and maybe they will list more or maybe just yell at them and maybe they'll come out with it again which they really should there needs to be more pink technology anyways i also got this really cute pink mat that i'm just uh, it's so nice it's like a i don't know if it's real leather i think it's faux leather but it's just such a nice quality mat that I, I love having under my desk. It feels so much nicer than like the kind of foamy one that I had before. And I also got a new mouse. Basically, I my desk was also like a mess of cords because my mouse and keyboard and just all these things were run through cables and I needed to at least as much as I could pull back a bit from having you know everything be wired so I ended up getting a wireless mouse I got this one off of Amazon and I love it oh my gosh it's amazing so definitely would recommend I was nervous about using a wireless mouse for gaming because I don't know I've just heard mixed things but it's been great for me I mean probably if you're like 
doing esports or something it won't be great for you but it's been great for my needs at least and i just love the space i love the way it came together and i'm just so proud of myself for taking the time to make my space something that i can be productive in and feel happy in so again i hope that seeing that inspires you to do something like that too And then next up, I had to tackle my dresser. This is right next to my desk. Let me know if you want like a room slash apartment tour. I could definitely do that. But yeah, my dresser, again, it kind of becomes a catch-all over like when I'm stressed over the weeks and I like any like snacks or drinks or whatever just kind of like land here or like my jewelry just gets thrown into like random piles from my desk you might have noticed that i had my makeup over there and i decided to move it over to my dresser just to make this space more functional and also to keep my desk area to just you know what i'm using it for so like having it be where i'm using my computer or where i'm doing like a craft or something and not also where I'm getting ready. So I wanted to move that over to my dresser um, and just have that be, you know, more of my makeup beauty space. The wall above my desk, and or not my desk, sorry, my dresser, you'll see this at the end, it's blank because I use a projector and I use that wall to project onto. I think eventually I'd love to get a screen, like a pull down screen just because it kind of makes me sad that the wall is blank i love having very full walls like filled with art so that is my like one thing that i really would like to do but i'm so proud of how my desk came out i just think it looks just so pretty and i love all these little pieces that i've collected over the years i have a lot of different vintage pieces in here like that um round statue is actually from the 80s and it's a little bit silly but i love it i just think it's so cool and different um and my lamp is also from the 80s and i thrifted it on facebook marketplace definitely one of my favorite finds but then i also picked up a few things from my travels or even just on amazon like my beautiful that shell lamp that's just from Amazon and I love it it's one of my faves I also love these crates they're basically dupes of ones from hay which is one of my favorite brands and they're so hard to get in the US but um, I feel like they're they've been everywhere over the past like couple years and I just think they're so cute I love them they make organizing very fun but yeah this is me basically putting together my everyday makeup routine into one crate so I could have it really easy to access and then my like palettes and things I just put in another area in my room. I definitely still have a lot of organizing and stuff to do in my room but you know what I'm gonna take it one day at a time and I cleared off and made two areas in my room perfect and the way that I want them to be so you know it checks off some things and now future tasks and future cleans can be less intimidating which is always a good thing in my book. But yeah, that's the one thing is I always try and remind myself that it's okay to break tasks down into like smaller tasks and to not feel like you have to accomplish everything in one day. You know, I, today I did my desk and I did my dresser and I feel really proud of that. And I love the way it came out and I love this space and just getting to look at all these trinkets and things that I've collected and that, you know, inspire me and bring me joy. So yeah, that is my little room makeover that i did my little desk and dresser makeover and i hope that this video was you know inspiring to you whether it's to decorate your space in a way that makes you happy to you know clean a space that you've been meaning to tackle for a while or even if you're just looking for some decor inspo but anyways thank you all so much for watching and i'll talk to you next time bye